myself a one-way flight I gotta see the color in your eyes I'm telling myself Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial and I'm really excited because I feel like I haven't done a makeup tutorial in like forever so I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this look it's kind of like a mermaid Katy Perry summer inspired tutorial I'm not really sure what to call it but it's definitely a little bit more daring and out of the box than what I normally go for I'm definitely a neutrals person and I like to stick to my neutrals but I thought that this would be really fun for summer if you're going to like a concert or something and yeah I just think it's really pretty and it's fun to play with makeup and most of the eyeshadows used in this tutorial are from Madison Street Beauty. This is a 100% natural and vegan cosmetic company and they reached out to me and sent me five of their eyeshadows to try out. And so you're going to be seeing four of them in my tutorial and I'm obsessed with these eyeshadows. They are crazy pigmented and they come in the form of like a loose pigment so they are a little bit messy but they're so much fun to work with because they have amazing colors and I will just tell you the names of the five that I got. So the first one I got is Tiffany Blue and I like that one for its name. The next one I got was Chestnut which is like a shimmery brown color and then I also got Carnation which is like a light champagne duochrome one and then I got Electric Periwinkle which is the cobalt blue color that you see on my eyeliner right now and then the last one I got was Opal and this one is also like a duochrome champagne color. So I'm obsessed with these eyeshadows and I'm lucky enough to be having a giveaway of a $25 gift card for you guys. If you want to know how to enter the $25 gift card for Madison Street Beauty, all the information will be in the down bar. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. They don't just sell eyeshadows, they have a ton of other makeup. So definitely check them out if you're into all natural and vegan products, which is really awesome for, I don't know, I just feel safer putting on natural stuff on my skin as most people probably are. So enough rambling, let's go ahead and move into the makeup tutorial. The first step to any face makeup is to definitely prime your face, so go ahead and choose any face primer you like. And then go ahead and apply a light foundation or even a BB cream or tin and moisturizer would do just fine. Once you've got that down, go ahead and prime your eyes with your favorite eyeshadow primer and then just blend that in, making sure you get the lower lash line as well because we'll be applying shadows there too. And then you're going to want to apply a purple eyeshadow base. I'm using a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil because I find these work really, really well and I love the color of this one because it'll shine through the eyeshadows as well. Next, I'm just taking the color Chestnut and I'm applying that into my crease with a tapered blending brush. Feel free to use any brown shimmery eyeshadow you have for this look though. And then on my Sigma E50 Big Fluff brush, <laughs> I'm going to be taking a matte cream shadow and applying that as my brow bone highlight. Next, on a regular flat shader brush, I took the color Carnation and I just packed this all over my lid to give a beautiful sheen. Next, just taking a regular facial mist, I'm going to dampen my angled eyeliner brush and I liked using the angle eyeliner brush. I found that it was really easy to maneuver and to really get a nice solid wing. You don't have to wing it out if you don't want to, but I like the look of it. So go ahead and apply the cobalt blue eyeshadow just like you would a regular eyeliner. Using the same technique, go ahead and apply a lighter blue eyeshadow to the inner half of the eyeliner. This gives a ombre effect and also kind of a little bit more dimension and it just looks a little bit cooler. So go ahead and do that to both of your eyes and it looks really pretty. Then go ahead and take that same light blue eyeshadow and apply it to your lower lash line. Following that, just go ahead and curl your lashes and apply your favorite mascara. I didn't experience any fallout, but if you do, just go ahead and take a dense face brush and sweep away the fallout. Next, taking your favorite concealer, go ahead and conceal your under eyes and around your nose and anything else that needs to be concealed. The way I like to use my concealer is just apply it in little dots all over my face and then blend it in with a blending brush. I find that this technique really leaves your skin feeling natural and it doesn't look very cakey on your skin, so I really like the way this applies. Next, just go ahead and take your favorite coral blush and lightly apply that to the apples of your cheeks. Crazy, you me, baby. Let's be crazy. 
And to finish off the makeup look, I applied a pretty bright natural pink lipstick color and I thought it really complimented the eyes. And then I just applied a little bit of gloss to the center of my lips for a little bit of shine. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked this makeup look or if you would like more makeup tutorials in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. It was really, really fun for me to create and it's definitely different than anything I've done before. Don't forget to check the down bar if you're interested in winning the $25 gift card from Madison Street Beauty. Um, I encourage all of you to enter. I think this is an awesome, awesome opportunity for you guys to try out some natural makeup products and yeah. So thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Have a great day guys. Bye. No, I don't.